Hi, this is Narmada, Assistant Professor in the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women. Now we are going to see about Introduction to Python Programming. So first in that we are going to see about problem solving techniques. So in the problem solving technique is a set of techniques that helps in providing logic for solving a problem. So this problem solving can be expressed in the form of algorithms, flowcharts and pseudocodes. So first we are going to see about algorithm. Algorithm is an ordered sequence of finite, well defined, unambiguous instructions for completing a task. It is a step by step procedure for solving a task or a problem. It is also defined as any problem whose solution can be expressed in a list of executable instruction. It is defined as a sequence of instructions that describe a method for solving a problem. In other words, it is a step by step procedure for solving a problem. So next we are going to see about the characteristics of algorithm. The algorithm should be written in simple English. Each and every instructions should be precise and unambiguous. Instructions in an algorithm should not be repeated infinitely. Algorithm should conclude after a finite number of steps. It should have an end point. Derived results should be obtained only after the algorithm terminates. The next is the qualities of algorithm. The qualities are time, memory, accuracy, sequence and general liberty. Next we are going to see about the building blocks of algorithms. That is nothing but the statements, state, control flow and functions. Algorithms can be constructed from basic building blocks namely sequence, selection and iteration. Statement is a single action in a computer. State transition from one process to another process under specified condition within a time is called state. Then the control flow, the process of executing the individual statements in a given order is called control flow. The control can be executed in three ways, sequence, selection and iteration. The next is the functions. Function is a sub program which consists of block of code that is nothing but set of instructions that performs a particular task. For complex problems, the problem is being divided into smaller and simpler tasks during algorithm design. The benefits of using functions is nothing but reduction in line of code, code reuse, better readability, information hiding, easy to debug and test and improved maintainability. The next is the notation static by the flowchart. Flowchart is defined as graphical or diagrammatic representation of the logic for problem solving. The purpose of flowchart is making the logic of program clear in a visual representation. A flowchart is a picture of the separate steps of a process in sequential order. The next is a pseudocode. Pseudo means initiation or false. Code means the set of statements or instructions written in a programming language. Pseudocode is also called as program design language that is PDL. Pseudocode consists of short, readable and formally styled English languages used for explaining an algorithm. It does not include details like variable declaration subroutines. It is easier to understand for the programmer or non-programmer to understand the general working of the program because it is not based on any programming language. It gives us the sketch of the program before actual coding. It is not a machine readable. Pseudocode can be compiled and executed. There is no standard syntax for pseudocode. Then rules for writing pseudocode. Write one statement per line. Capitalize initial word that is read, write, if, while, until for example. Indent to hierarchy. End multi-line structure. Keep statements language independent. The next is the alg algorithmic problem solving. Algorithmic problem solving is solving problem that require the formulation of an algorithm for the solution. So choosing between exact and approximate problem solving. The next principal decision is to choose between solving the problem exactly or solving it approximately. So based on this, the algorithms are classified as exact algorithm and approximation algorithm. Data structure plays a vital role in designing and analysis the algorithm. Some of the algorithm design techniques also depend on the structuring data specifying a problem's instance. So algorithm plus data structure equal to programs. Algorithm design techniques. An algorithm design techniques, it is nothing but strategy or paradigm, is a general approach to solving problems algorithmically 
that is applicable to a variety of problems from different areas of computing. Learning these techniques is of utmost importance for the following reasons. First, they provide guidance for designing algorithms for new problems. Second, algorithms are the cornerstone of computer science. The next is the analysis of an algorithm. So, the analysis of algorithm is based on the efficiency and simplicity. Efficiency is nothing but time efficiency and space efficiency. Time efficiency indicates how fast the algorithm runs. Space efficiency indicates how much extra memory it uses. Simplicity, an algorithm should be precisely defined and investigated with mathematical expressions. Simpler algorithms are easier to understand and easier to program. Simple algorithms usually contain fewer bugs. Then simple strategies for developing algorithms are iterations and recursions. Iteration is nothing but a sequence of statement is executed until a specified condition is true is called iteration. It is nothing but the for loop and while loop. Recursion, a function that calls itself is known as recursion. Recursion is a process by which a function calls itself repeatedly until some specified condition has been satisfied. Thank you.